Hello, this is an exercise class for testicular pain. My name's Krista, I'm a pelvic physiotherapist, and demonstrating this class is my husband, Brian. He has testicles. This exercise class targets specifically the role of the pelvic floor muscles if they are involved in your pain at all. So your pubic bone is at the front of your pelvis, and if you look at the bottom side, you have your tailbone. Your pelvic floor muscles attach from pubic bone to tailbone and out to your sit bones. There are a few different reasons why you might have testicular pain, but your pelvic floor muscles are a main driver in a lot of testicular pain. So if that's the case, this exercise class might help you. If you're not sure it's right for you, please talk to your doctor or physiotherapist. For this exercise class, you're going to need three things, a block or a cushion or pillow that can act as a block, a strap, towel, or even a long sleeve shirt would work, and also a ball, so you can use a tennis ball, a cross ball, cork massage ball. So pause the video and grab those items if you don't have them handy. And then we're gonna start the class by sitting. So if you can sit cross-legged, that's great. If you can't, option to sit on a block or a few cushions to allow yourself to get into cross-legged position with your spine straight. Most often, if there is a pelvic floor muscle component to your testicular pain, that's because your muscles are too tight. So we're going to use our breath to see if we can get more pelvic floor muscle movement. So Brian is demonstrating with his hands that as you inhale, your pelvic floor moves down, and as you exhale, your pelvic floor moves up. So close your eyes, and I want you to start noticing that area between your sit bones, where your genitalia are, and as you breathe in, see if you can let that area move downwards. So it might actually feel like your testicles are moving down, hanging lower as you take a big inhale. As you exhale, it should feel like that area is tightening. So it might feel like your testicles are moving up back towards your body. Some people have told me it feels like that sensation when you walk into cold water and your body automatically pulls your testicles up towards your body. It might feel like that motion. Great. If you were sitting on a block or a cushion, move that out of the way now. And then you're going to grab your towel and roll it so that it's about the width of your fist so you can fit it between your sit bones right basically between your testicles and your anus so you're going to place it between your sit bones and sit on that towel great so what this towel is doing is it's providing you with biofeedback so you can feel your tissue touching the towel eyes closed again start to deepen your breath so as you inhale see if you can inhale deeper allowing your belly to expand as you inhale. As you inhale, you should also feel that tissue that's touching the towel move down into the towel, increasing the pressure that you're feeling on your skin as it moves into the towel. As you exhale, that should tighten and lift away from the towel, so you might feel the pressure on your skin decrease. See if you can notice that with every breath. Inhale, pressure increases exhale pressure decreases we're trying to feel the whole range of movement of your pelvic floor muscles but that downward motion is the most important for alleviating testicular pain great work you can move your towel out of the way now now we're going to transition to kneeling so sitting on your bent legs reaching back moving your glute tissue out of the way so that you feel your two sit bones touching your heels this allows for there to be this nice space between your feet that your pelvic floor can move down into so as you inhale see if you can move your testicles closer towards the floor letting them hang as you exhale they will lift naturally but don't try to emphasize that lift as you inhale, moving the muscles down, letting the testicles hang as low as possible. As you exhale, feeling a little bit of that tightening, but not trying to emphasize it. Big, deep breaths. 
the deep breathing and slowing down your breath is just as important for allowing your pelvic floor muscles to relax. So even if you cannot feel your pelvic floor movement, if you are breathing deeply and you're trying to slow your breath down, that will be helping your pelvic floor muscles. It sometimes takes many times of practicing for you to actually feel the movement. Great. We're going to transition to hands and knees now. So bringing your hands right under your shoulders and knees right under your hips. We're going to add movement with your breath. So as you inhale, rock your pelvis towards your heels, keeping your spine straight. As you exhale, return to the start. Good. Inhale, rocking back. Exhale, returning to the start. So as you inhale, focus on widening your sit bones. Maybe it even feels like you're opening your anus as your pelvic floor muscles lengthen and relax. As you exhale, they will contract a little, but try not to emphasize that. Inhale, lengthen, open. Exhale, return to the start. Inhale, widen your sit bones, open your anus. Exhale, return to the start. Great work, moving at the pace of your breath, so slowing your breath down if you can. Big, long, deep inhale, nice exhale. Breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. With any of these movements, if they don't feel right for your body, if they hurt, or if it doesn't feel like you can do it, you can always skip them. The most important part of this exercise class is that you are breathing and moving your pelvic floor with your breath so you can always come back to that sitting or lying down great rock all the way back into child's pose rest your arms down rest your forehead on the mat take a break slowly make your way back to hands and knees We'll do cat cow next. So as you inhale, arch your spine. As you exhale, round your spine looking down. Inhale, arching, looking up, opening your sit bones. Exhale, rounding. Good. So focusing as you inhale and you arch on lengthening your pelvic floor, moving those muscles away from your head. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, see if you can move that tissue between your sit bones away from your head good exhale rounding moving at the pace of your breath here focusing on getting pelvic floor muscles opening and lengthening with every inhale like i said if you can't feel that yet if you are breathing nice and deep you know that you will be tapping into this movement even if you can't quite feel it yet Okay, great. Coming to neutral spine and then transitioning to sitting down on your mat. Right knee bent, left leg straight. If you can't get your spine straight here, sit on a block or a cushion and then try to keep your spine long and straight. Great. As you inhale, what you're going to do is you're going to reach your left hand down your left leg while keeping your spine straight. As you exhale, you return to the start. So only moving as far as you can. So Brian's only moving a few inches. That's as far as his body feels like it wants to move with this one. So listen to your body, keeping your spine straight. Inhale, reaching. See if you can lengthen by your sit bone. Exhale, returning to the start. So this one is stretching your hamstring and your inner thigh, your adductor. So see if you can really relax the area of your pelvic floor by your pubic bone. And this is going to be near the base of your penis. So see if you can really relax that area of your pelvic floor as you inhale. Okay. 
Then on this rep, you're going to let your spine round this time, reaching as far as you can towards your left foot comfortably. Reach your right arm high above you and then see if you can bring your right hand to touch your left. What you're going to be doing here is stretching the lower back on the right hand side. This is your QL muscle, your quadratus lumborum. And this muscle can sometimes be involved in testicular pain, especially if it's tight or sore. So as you breathe here, see if you can breathe all the way into your right lower back. Every inhale, trying to create more space on that right side, holding this stretch as you breathe, maybe sinking a little bit more into it if that feels good. You can slowly start easing out of this stretch and we'll switch sides. So straightening out your right leg this time, bending your left leg, sitting on the block if you were doing that on the other side, straightening your spine. And then again, as you inhale, you'll be reaching your right hand towards your right foot, but keeping your spine straight. So only moving a little bit. And if you can't do any movement, that's okay. You can just stay still. As you inhale and you hinge, you're thinking about relaxing your pelvic floor, especially at the front of your pelvic floor by your pubic bone. So this will be the base of your penis close to your testicles. With every inhale, you're really trying to lengthen, expand. Exhale, returning to the start. Continuing to move at the pace of your breath. On this rep, allowing your spine to round, reaching as far as you can towards your right foot lifting your left arm up overhead and then allowing it to meet your right arm you're going to be stretching the lower back on the left hand side this time that same ql muscle as you inhale see if you can breathe all the way into that left lower back creating more space in your lower back Great, you can ease out of that stretch. You're going to move into butterfly stretch next. So you can stay sitting on your block and then bring the soles of your feet to touch. And this is going to be opening up your hips, stretching out your inner thighs. So if it's available to you, close your eyes. And as you breathe, see if you can really relax that front part of your pelvic floor near your penis and your testicles. With every inhale, allowing your testicles to move closer and closer to the mat.
You're going to work on some massage for the next one. So you can move the block or the cushion out of the way and find your massage ball. You're going to be working on massaging that same lower back muscle, the QL, that you were stretching a couple exercises ago. So to find it, you're going to find the bottom of your rib cage and the top of your pelvis. And you're going to be massaging the muscle that runs between those two points. So you'll place the ball in that spot and then you'll lie down onto it. As you lie down onto it, you'll keep your right leg straight if you're massaging that right side. And then you can massage up and down or roll side to side until you find a tight and sore spot in that muscle. You can keep going with the massage or you can stay still on that tight spot. And once you find that tight and sore spot, taking some nice, big, deep breaths, seeing if you can relax the muscle around the ball, focusing on pelvic floor relaxation as you inhale, relaxing your back, relaxing your pelvic floor. Time to switch sides so you can sit back up, grab the ball, and then place it on the other side, so the left-hand side of your spine in that same area between your rib cage and your pelvis. Same thing, straighten out your left leg, rolling up and down or side to side on the ball until you find a nice, good, tight spot, trying to soften your lower back muscle into the ball and as you inhale, lengthening your pelvic floor muscles. Easing out of this one now, you can move your massage ball off to the side and then you'll need your towel or strap again. What you're going to do is you're going to lie on your back and put your feet into the towel or strap. And then what you're going to do is you're going to kick your leg straight into the towel as straight as you can towards the sky. So you might not get your legs completely straight and that's fine, but what you're doing here is you're stretching the back of your legs. As you inhale, see if you can widen your sit bones, lengthen your pelvic floor muscles away from your head. Nice, big, deep breaths here. And then spread your feet apart wider, bending your knees, bringing your thighs towards your chest more. And this should feel like you're opening up your hips, opening up your sit bones. Big deep inhales, relaxing your pelvic floor, opening up here.
Slowly start to move out of this stretch. You can get rid of the towel or strap and then make your way back to sitting. If you do this class once, you might not notice any change in pain yet, but if you do it consistently, maybe a few days a week, you might slowly over time notice a change in your testicular pain. If you want to work with a physiotherapist, a link is in the description of this video. Bye.